so combos with Sabito are honestly pretty simple. His basic bread and butter combo, which is just a full attack string into a waterfall, into a full attack string into the whirlpool, is really, really decent chunk of damage. 3,700, which is really good for a super, super simple combo. It's almost impossible to mess up, which is really good for a laggy online environment, only to cost two bars. So that's a lovely combo just to always be doing. But the only downside about it is that you don't get any time to build any meter back at the end of it. And if you do want that, you can just make your combo a little bit shorter and go for your Waterfall Basin to end the combo. That was maybe a little bit too short, but with Hard Knockdown from Waterfall Basin, you have some time to build some meter that way. Or if you perhaps have an aerial combo where you're hitting the opponent from the air and you're doing something like this, you can do your aerial flowing dance, and that leads to a hard knockdown as well, where you can build some meter. So if you do, are in need of meter, there are ways of getting your meter back, but he does have a lot of meter gain just from things like his grab, or in boost mode, his full attack string in boost mode builds like 4 bars of meter, it's really ridiculous. So combos he'll do off of his um, charged armor attack, which is the fastest charging armor attack in the game by the way, if you didn't know that, is something like this. He just does his tilt special into his neutral special, into a grab and that does really beefy damage and obviously that grab can be replaced with a, an ultimate for a big chunk of damage. Off of his tilt attack it actually starts a yellow combo so you can literally just do whatever you like, whatever sort of basic bread and butter combo you want to do off of that, you can because it just starts a yellow combo. It does scale a little bit more but for a dive kick with a really awesome hitbox that's really amazing. Um, if you are um, using your neutral attacks in the air a lot, you can actually get really damaging cheap combos like this. If you hit confirm the attacks in the air, you can just do a waterfall, and it only costs 2 bars and does 4,300 damage, which is pretty damn awesome for 2 bars. And uh, yeah, that's Sabito for you. You can get some pretty heckin' crazy damage. If you're comboing into your ultimate, um, you can basically always just do... Um, some combos into a waterfall basin, or you can also sometimes combo it off of your flowing dance as long as you're not facing right into the corner. Yeah, even being beside the corner can kind of mess it up because you bounce sideways and see, it usually works if you're facing this way. But the co mm, Okay, maybe it's just not as consistent as I thought it was. <laughs> um, but there are obvious really easy ways to combo into your ultimate, like just any time you end your combo in a waterfall, they're in that hard slump state. So you can super easily just go into your ultimate, you can even just decide on the spot, like, oh damn, I want this to be an ultimate combo and kill my opponent. He's very, very easy to combo into his ultimate. And if he's in boost mode, obviously, you know, he can do stuff like this. He can add a little bit more meter into the combo if he wants by, you know, doing his flowing dance and stuff. But this hard knockdown, even if he just does a plain combo, is really good. He gets to build back... Actually, here, let's just show it. It's not a combo It's in itself, technically, but just... Oh no, wait. Quick, 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 quick. But the hard knockdown he gets from this builds in tons of meter, so even if you don't have any meter for a combo, if you just do his boosted regular attack string, you get to need you get to build nearly all of your meter back, which is so ridiculous. So not only in in surge mode can he go ridiculous with his meter, in boost mode he can do the exact same. So he can spend the game going like this all the time. And then whenever he feels like going for boost, he can just go into boost mode. And then when he's in boost mode, you can obviously keep doing it. Because as we mentioned, in boost mode he can build meter really easily just by ending his attack string and the normal stuff. And then obviously we all know about Surge Mode. If he's in Surge Mode, he can just do the same thing over and over again, and the opponent will totally die for it. Just cancelling special moves into special moves. And your life will be easy and you'll get a big chunk of damage. Um, I think that is about all there is to mention with Sabito. His combos are really simple and you can do whatever you like, as long as you decide when you're doing a combo whether you just want to get a big chunk of damage, or you want to get, um... A hard knockdown to build some meter, that's up to you, but it's pretty simple either way. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.